hello everyone and welcome back to your channel technical sahil in today's video we will learn how to add ptr records to our server by default when we take any server from any provider the ptr records we receive are pointed towards the server provider's domain or name which they owns to explain ptr records in simple terms for those who may not that much aware about it they are essentially the opposite of a records recently we looked at a records in 3 to 4 videos back discussing how to point our domain to the specific ip similarly a ptr record is used to map an ip to a specific domain which we own which is why it's also known as reverse dns or rdns now look at my server ip address the host name it has by default as my static host name it sets does not belong to the domain i own so in the future when i connect my own domain like this which i own to the server for task specifically related to the email sending there is a very high possibility that my emails will either not be received by the receiver or will definitely goes into spam of the recipients now to fix this we simply need to click this uh, pencil icon here we need to define this portion could be anything except it has not taken by the dns record already so you can write here like host server anything your name even but after the dot this is the actual domain which you owns so that makes a complete fqdn and simply you need to copy the same thing and paste it here now simply you need to copy the ip address click on advanced dns first we can delete the records which was already there now simply you need to click add new record type a now in the value first we will paste the same ip address which you have copied now in the host mention the same value before dot which you have written yes you have an option you can write anything but here at ptr record was one but once you have saved you need to copy the same name from here and whatever it is you need to mention it here and click save changes you can also do the same thing for ipv6 but in general cases we only use ipv4 address not our ipv6 but if you wish to use you can do the same thing uh, by adding the a record uh, type server host server and the uh, inside the value you can paste the ipv6 this time instead of the ipv4 so that's how we are we can change the ptr records the default ptr records which was set by our server provider to the domain which we owns so that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching it till the end